Hi, I'm Brian McCaddy, the Ward 1 City Councillor. We're here today at the corner of Kent and Aberdeen to talk about the participatory budgeting process here for Ward 1. The way to spend uh, money on projects, uh, capital projects throughout Ward 1. We've got $1.5 million to uh, spend each and every year. We're doing it through a really neat process where we ask citizens to propose projects. And then we, we actually post those projects and have people vote on them as to which ones they'd like to see uh, come forward as, as projects. So today we're talking about an example of one of those projects, the Kent and Aberdeen Pedestrian Crossing Light. And we're here today with Madeline Verhofsick. Madeline is a neighborhood folk, uh, a person here in the neighborhood who was very instrumental in getting this project moving. And I thought Madeline could explain to us a little bit about the background and about the project, why it's important and uh, what we're doing here. Very good. So I'm a member of the community. I live, I used to live on Kent Street and now live a couple streets over and uh, having lived in the area for a while, um, noticed that this was, a, well Aberdeen along this stretch is very busy sure. um, and it's also, as you can see, uh, sort of a, a lot of young families and but also a mix of people, uh, older people with you know, disabilities and a lot of reason to want to get from one side of Aberdeen to the other. Um, on, on the south side of Aberdeen there's trails and lots of parks. On the north side you've got Lock Street, HAAA, several schools and uh, this busy road cutting through with a long stretch uh, between lights where there was an opportunity to cross. So I think at that point, um, you know, we had, we had been chatting over many years with neighbors, uh, frustrated with the way that the layout was, and uh, we decided to touch base with you by email, and, um, and everything kind of went from there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> thanks. It's been great. Uh, it was a petition process in this case as well, really a grassroots uh, led process. It's really what we're trying to do here in Ward 1. That's the idea of uh, instead of just me deciding where these projects should go, they really should be citizen driven through this participatory budgeting process. So I think that's important. Uh, good example of it in this case. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so I mean we were, we were very pleased at how uh, responsive you were and, and we really kind of got organized as neighbors in doing the petition. Um, and, uh, and now that the crosswalk is here, it's really a fantastic addition to to making the neighborhood more walkable for everybody uh, and uh, and even recently there have been some adjustments made to the light so that it's very responsive and you know you push the button and you can cross right away and it, and it really adds to the quality of life in the neighborhood it's been great. Well, thanks very much Madeline that's a great description. I should mention we're also putting in a very similar crossing at uh, Main Street and Pearl Street to try and connect the Strathcona neighborhood to the Kirkendall neighborhood. I think walkability is one of the most important things we can do in our neighborhoods. And these are great examples and a great way to spend this money. So have a look at the, uh, the website, brianmccaddy.ca, and uh, look for the opportunity to propose a project. And then uh, once we put it back up on the website, an opportunity to vote on which projects you'd like to see go ahead. Thanks very much.